this is three brains um, it too almost became a piece of artwork canvas artwork but I was compelled to make it a little bit more graphic but I was inspired to do this piece after hearing a debate um, amongst you know some African American males a couple females and what I grasped from that was Chinese brain, a native brain, a German brain, but for space purposes, you know, taking into consideration this Japanese brain, this black brain, this white brain, if you took them and you wanted to sell them, when people look at what white people have accomplished, you would think that that brain would be the most costly. And with what the Japanese have accomplished, that brain would be more costly. And that would the struggle of black people, um, even for those that said, well, we've come up with some inventions and you know, we've done this and we've done that. People will probably devalue um, the black brain in part because of not where we come from, but because of the state, the condition of black America, and you can throw entertainers, athletes, you know, um, people in government, you can throw all of them in there, just the state, because all y'all collectively would be remembered for, you know, certain things or whatever, but, but it's the opposite. Hearing what I heard in that debate, heated debate, I come to the conclusion that the white brain would be at the bottom for its cost, perhaps the Japanese brain in the middle and the black brain would be at the top. When you look at what white people have accomplished collectively and in some cases even you know individually but we'll use the term collectively they've accomplished a lot on behalf of their own not just on American soil but even abroad. And while many would bring into consideration um, slavery, um, people would take bring in consideration perhaps some of the wars, you know, that have been fought that are deemed white men's wars. It takes brain to do that. It takes brain to convince somebody to go to war on your behalf. It takes brain to convince people to remain in a certain geographic location and continue to work for hundreds of years. That, it, it takes brain. And when you utilize your brain on that level, that's the equivalence of a used car has been used. So the value of it decreases. You take the Japanese, what they have accomplished collectively, not just on American soil, but in Japan and on a global scale, they have utilized their brains and become a brand. You know, they're people. But you look at that black brain, it's like with our entertainers, people in politics, and just everyday black folk, we seem to miss them all. And I know there will be many who will argue, well, we've come up with all these inventions that have been stolen from them. Then you gotta be like, damn, you haven't come up with a way to secure yours, your brands, secure your inventions, to secure yours. You haven't come up with a way to do so. Brain, brain power. Thank you. It's like you take somebody and you uh, you deliver them to a state, a city they've never been. This person has any ounce of ambition in, within themselves. I figure within three to four days they will know how to and where to go and apply for food assistance which Tim agencies out there will employ them. If needs be, they need to check into a homeless shelter where, where that's location is. Within three to four days. And here you have people who have produced athletes, political figures, inventors, who are the minority. 
and have been here for over 400 years camp it's like what have you or us what have we been doing with our brains I mean you take an individual been haven't been in this city had lived in this state but within three to four days they will know where they can check in to get food assistance if they need shelter, where the location of that is, where the temp agency is at that will hire, perhaps they can get a job temp to hire. Within three to four days, they can accomplish that. And here you have black folks who have been here for hundreds of years, have not utilized our brains to a point where we know how to unify. There's no code of conduct, there's no respect. Um, the level of fear the level of hate is overwhelming. So you ask why the black brain wouldn't be on the bottom. As in this case a third class. But in reality on the top. Because the brain has utilized the most accomplishes the most. You don't have respect, self-respect, respect for one another. Um, you're not utilizing your brain to its best you know, potential. And hearing that debate amongst African-American men and a few women, that's what I gathered. Um, I'm sure it won't rest easy with a lot of people, but if these brains were for sale, that black brain would be at the top, Japanese brain in the middle, and that white brain at the, at the very bottom. And truthfully, history has already recorded a chain of events, you know, that have transpired amongst all three brains, amongst all three people. And uh, it's touchy, it's touchy. But if you're not so abrupt to judge, you will see the value in the black brain.